So back in June, I attempted to start a miso paste. I cooked some soybeans, mashed them, then mixed it with koji rice and salt to make the miso paste. And as a little experiment, and also because my vessel wasn't big enough, I decided to put half the miso paste in glass and the other half in a Korean earthenware pot. Well, now it's been a few months, so it's time to check how it's doing. And the results may surprise you. So here are the two miso pastes. They're the same batch and they've been sitting in the same spot for the same amount of time. The only difference being one is in an airtight glass jar and the other is in a non-airtight earthenware pot. The glass jar hasn't changed appearance much. The top layer is a little moldy and there's a slight discoloration within the first centimeter. Nothing too crazy. But the earthenware, however, took me by surprise. The top is completely completely black and there's no signs of any white or green molds anywhere. I did dig through the top layer a little and the paste is more brown inside. They both smell the same, however the earthenware pot is much drier as well. I'm going to leave these to go even further, however I am going to take the o-ring off the glass lid to allow some airflow as well. Make sure you're following to keep up with this in all my projects.